us. Um, you were talking about the smart um, projects that the presidents did. We are on Rollins right now, and you were talking about how um, gruesome some of the killings were, and we also touched base on that. Sometimes when you're a leader, people do things and then point fingers at you without your endorsement. So it might even be the case that there was no proper official sort of um, discussion prior to all so these firing squad and things like that. Because people can take um, the law into their hands and do anything, especially whereby we are talking about the 1992 constitution. So please, can you carry on from where you left off? So thank you, uh, Mr. Eric Kukudaku. Uh, um, yes, so as we were saying with the, with the thing, uh, it was a state of revolution. Okay. So the main things would have been the firing squad, mm -hmm. which was not, obviously, because if you, if obviously, if we, if the, every president killed the other one, then surely Rollins would not be alive today. Yeah, know? that's mm -hmm. right. So that killing and also the judges, mm -hmm. it kind of set the tone. The military were on a rampage, and as I told you a story, my dad had somebody come in the house with a, this uh, like AK-47 yeah. poor guy, bum, just got into the bedroom. You know, this could have been a situation mm -hmm. that could have resulted to a fatal, a fatal um, situation. Mm -hmm. You see. Uh, eventually, when we managed to get to the striking force in 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 in, in, in Kumasi, a sort of a doom area okay. where they were based, it was the officers there, the senior officers, had not sent this person to the house just to give you an idea. So you see what I was state, talking about? Yes, because people took the law into their hands yes. and do things for people to say Rollins endorsed it. Yes, but we might never know. Why are people doing that and why do people always do that? Especially yeah. when they are good leaders with good vision and then people around him yeah. sort of cause, spoil, yeah. cause yeah. problems for them. It was a state of uh, revolution. Mm -hmm. And so this guy, as I said, came in. He could have shot my dad mm -hmm. before we could get everything sorted out. But thank God the situation was contained. We managed to get to the striking force. We realized that they had not actually sent him there. Mm -hmm. So in a state of emergency, there were a lot of things that happened that probably Rollins didn't know about. But then it, it, was, a, never uh, it mm -hmm. was a state of emergency. Obviously, some of the major stuff would have had to pass his authorization. You might be surprised that, you know, he, he never even knew about them. Because as you were saying, um, his rank that time wasn't the top, mm. you know, the topmost rank. So there were people above him and he was in kind of um, but but so in, but in the time they chose him in the time that you've taken over as the revolutionary leader mm -hmm. regardless of the rank of an of, a, of an officer mm -hmm. you are in charge you are, the you are the in charge so for example the firing squad rollins couldn't deny that he did not do it are you with me mm -hmm. he, you know he had to are, give, there, are there evidence of that he well he had to give the order for it to be done so those are major you know, those are the major stuff, you okay. know, uh, because you cannot uh, give a free fire, uh, champo and all these people firing squad eh? without Rollins' uh, authority. Approval. No, 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 that one couldn't have, because that one is done like proper, proper firing squad, you know mm. what I mean, so that one. And what was their charges? Uh, well, that could be difficult <laughs> to tell, but I'm very sure it's all like mismanagement of the Ghana's resources. Ghana's purse. But obviously, resources. as we carry on going, you are going to find that, uh, you know, this misappropriation is happening to everyone. Even those who are saying you've done it, so I shoot you, they are doing it as well. So mm -hmm. that's, yeah. So in, in all fairness, the credit that could be given on the side of Rollins is just, the, I think I will put it to the mobilization mm -hmm. of the human resources of Ghana. Okay. So, because he's a charismatic leader, mm -hmm. so he was able to mobilize the grassroots. I think that prior to his coming to power, the grassroots who were the majority were very marginalized. They didn't have a say in anything. But I think Rollins created an opportunity for the grassroots to be mobilized on projects. And sometimes you can see that in a lot of films where... So, did it sort of increase employment? Uh, mobilization of um, 
of human resources, mm -hmm. what it does is that he was, because sometimes you see in, in, in politics and in economics and in government, mm -hmm. we can be talking, oh, the GDP was like this. Ghana's GDP is grown from X to Y. But the real it's, problem on the ground is different. Correct. So, so the in the case of, the of Rollins, mm -hmm. the re, even in Chroma as well, mm -hmm. probably could also, uh, you could see that also within Chroma. In, within Chroma, the feel good factor mm -hmm. was on the ground. You could see it, the feel good factor. So, mm -hmm. in the case of Rollins, the mobilization of the grassroots, the grassroots began to feel included in the system. And they, were, and they were happy to work. And I mean, I remember there was a place that was established in Asopa. It was a worker's canteen. Okay. Whereby you could go with small money mm -hmm. and you get some nice meal. That time, even some small meal, brother, was mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. You see, so, and so that was a good thing. Because the people on the ground could so feel... So the ordinary Ghanaian was... Yeah, the guy, to do yeah, to do something. And he could get them to do something. We go do cocoa and he will be active. Mm -hmm in doing that so that is a good charismatic leadership uh ghana also started to make some waves on the international scene i think it uh, people became very much interested in ghana you know is it because of our resources or because of the leadership um, it was i think it's the leadership the charisma of the leader mm. was uh, it did attract a lot of people even some my uh, probably i know some nigerians who was it because he had scottish blood or what I wouldn't say that that was mm. any of the uh, issues. Yeah, just the personality, yeah. just the personality, and his willingness and his passion mm -hmm. to see the ordinary Ghanaian do well. Smile. I think you mm -hmm. could it translated. Put a smile on the ordinary yeah, Ghanaian it translated, space. and people could see it. Mm -hmm. And even some Nigerians who say, "You give us one as we prefer. Mm -hmm. We we'll give you a Basando or somebody like this." You know, okay. it's like a joke, mm -hmm. but just to let you know. And he is a passionate guy even after leaving office, done some work in Darfur and all these international, uh, you know, Somalia. Mm. And, you know, all the time you could see the passion and it's the there. care for the people. Mm. Yeah, I have a friend, um, I met a friend in, um, I think a friend that was in Libya, they had some problems. Mm -hmm. And Rollins was the only one, even then was not a president. It's a former president, was the only one that apparently went to Libya. Mm -hmm. to go there to see to the um, you know like what Kennedy Japan did for the people in Beirut okay Rollins was there you know this is something that the Ghana government mm -hmm. should go it's not Rollins is a former president but he took that responsibility so this these were some of the very good attributes so it's very patriotic very good attributes mm -hmm. that I can say uh, and I said as I said to you maybe some of the things that happened uh, under his regime, he was probably too young, mm -hmm. uh, and also people that and were probably more yeah, 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 serious, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, and champion in all the areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, then so have, then you have people like maybe Chachuchi Kata in GMPC making a lot of financial losses for Ghana, mm -hmm. and probably in as much as Rollins talk about accountability. I think Chachuchi Kata and the GMPC should have brought should have been brought under accountability. But I heard he was yeah. um, in prison for and, how and long was that? For a very short time, um, and he was he was I would say the chief for GMPC, so he was responsible. And so the financial loss is definitely uh, a, a better punish, a bigger pen, punishment mm -hmm. would have served as a deterrent. Okay. <laughs> So good. So for him is the mobilization of the grassroots of human resources, passion, you know, his downsides as obviously it was obvious to you. In terms of projects, mm -hmm. his tenure, if you take from 1979 to 2000, that was the longest time. Mm -hmm. You see, is that it, is, it, is it 20, 20? Uh, yeah, 20, 20 21, years. yeah, sort of. So years. that was the longest time that so any, what what did he achieve apart from the passion and the charisma the mobilization of the mobilization people that he had as a wow in a terms quality. of yeah in terms of you know this sort of, yeah in terms of these things that you could list for in chroma so because we are talking about attributes we are not talking about amenities and infrastructure and mm -hmm. what what he brought what he actually built for ghana mm -hmm. what did he actually do for ghana um, apart from um, his personal 
good qualities, mm. passion, eh, you know, charisma. That, and that, that is very difficult to tell. Mm. If anything at all, one could say that maybe some of the old dying industries started to see some revival, okay. right? And also there was a bit of uh, foreign investment coming into Ghana. But then one of the economically, one of the most damaging things that we done for ourselves was that under Rollins' uh, leadership, mm -hmm. the CD just kept the devaluation on the CD was... It was erratic. It was mm -hmm. huge. Oh, okay. And it has such damaging impact on, on the, the economy, economy. Yeah. and even so which means even, that even inflation was high during this time yes because yes. if the city keeps on devaluing then it means yeah, inflation, inflation was inflation high, was high, yeah, rocket yeah, high yeah 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 it, 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 it was surged dangerous. during his time isn't it yes okay watch out for the next series thanks for watching please subscribe um share and then like welcome back um we'll continue from where we left off um, please, Charles, can you sort of um, elaborate a little bit on Kufo? What what exactly did Kufo achieve for the ordinary Ghanaian before he left office? Please, can you delve into that for us? Yeah. Audience, welcome to the show. Yes. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Eric Kwekudonko, for having me. Um, as we were saying that Kufo went epic because obviously the coffers were all cleared when he came into power. Um, in view of him doing that, it was some sort of a condition for us to revalue, in a way, revalue our currency. That so the epic itself did it help the ordinary Ghanaian, or it just um, if a you bit of money into the system? One would say that it did, it, factor, it, it, did it did help because when obviously at the end of the N NDC tenure. There was no money. There was no money. And okay. so when you take over power, you've got to So what, was it a good strategy, um, a good strategy or a good leadership, you know, sort of input by Kufo to um, come in with the HIPIC? Was it, was it a good thing? It, is a good, a, it thing? is a good idea because when you don't have any money, you're probably, you're not able to repay your debts. Mm -hmm. Uh, your country is bankrupt. There is no money to do anything. And maybe pay your civil servants. Correct. And all you that. can't pay your nurses, your teachers. You know, it's a mess. So it was necessary to go to the IMF and World Bank to seek help. And I think it was reasonably light. And so Ghana started attracting that foreign investment. So with the history of Ghana, if any president leaves, they leave the coffers blank. There's nothing in it. Does it mean that we don't know how to run a country? Or does it mean that some of the money goes somewhere that is not supposed to, to go because you know we don't experience that in the other countries in, you know in the UK America and all those areas where the systems and structures are very in, very much know, in place very much, very in, much place. in place yeah, yeah so what is happening really one could say that obviously we don't have these as facts but one could only think that because we don't have proper systems and structures in place in terms of how a party, a political party election thing is funded, we don't have a proper structure. So I can use my own money, say, oh, you know, I'm like, let's say, Nanado Danko, and he say, maybe I got a few. It's properties. like a loan, and then you yeah. pay back. I got, I got a few properties, I got to sell, interest. and I can't find money from anywhere, mm -hmm. uh, enough money to fight my election. I need to maybe go and see. It an external, uh, maybe a private person who's got some money to, Start to, 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 to help me. So it means you have to pay back with interest. Correct. So if you if that, that person was an external person, the moment you come into power, you are obliged to say, okay, maybe half 5% of our box side for helping me out. Are you with me? Yeah. They want something. So something for something policy. Correct. Yeah. And so if we have a system here, a system like the way we have here, or albeit all these democratic processes have been adopted, mm -hmm. then we need to say all the political parties that passes for an election will be given X amount of money mm -hmm. to fight an election okay. to win mm -hmm. or whatever. And then maybe party members can donate mm -hmm. monies, but there has to be transparency as in if you if you donate a set above a certain amount, mm -hmm. it needs to be expo basically it needs to be public information, mm -hmm. and it needs to be out there in the open, so that um, 
so that if the government should come into power and start doing you any favors, mm -hmm. then it becomes very clear okay. what the government is doing. And that, obviously, if you have a, a constitutionalism, a system with checks and balances, then that type of thing can be uh, queried. So, apart from the hippie, you know, so the, apart the, from so the hippie, so he does the hippie, some kind of um, flexibility, it, 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 yeah, the inflow, and then, and then, and then, then, then his, his concept, obviously, as an NPP administration mm -hmm. was to allow private investors yeah private people to do private. business so you create entrepreneurs so, exactly so this is the difference between the ndc and the npp party mm -hmm. whenever there's an npp party you can see that people have the uh, free will to speak the confidence to speak mm -hmm. people have the will to engage in business people don't feel intimidated mm -hmm. in any way and so that creates a positive chain of economic small economic activity. Mm -hmm. And then that economic activity sort of sees the country through. Mm -hmm. So this is what was happening under the Kofu so administration. That so that he didn't have anything. MPP stimulates uh, the, the, the economy. economy. Correct. Um, Terms of people participate, you know, the small businesses and the small private companies come in and they allow that flexibility to do their thing without the fear. So of, what about the NDC? They don't stay um, there. I, I think that it, it is just the history of a party mm -hmm. because when you have a situation where when Rollins came into power, he was very young and felt that maybe the people that were rich was the one causing all the problems in Ghana and blah blah blah. And as you can see, the soldiers going on the rampage you know, beating uh, Makola women and stripping some of them people in the Kumasi market and, and if and you have that. rich people were made to do all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you got that, that thing is like, it's inherent, it's inbuilt. So the moment... So you want to say it's uh, the tradition or what? what? I, I don't think so. Do you? It's not. It's not your tradition, but that is, you know, that is the energy that you generate. Okay. So the people don't feel. That's a negative energy. Though. Correct. The people don't feel confident, mm -hmm. and also maybe some people that have are successful in businesses fear. Mm -hmm. They fear that they, they are going to be attacked. Their business. Maybe it is also known that some people have also had their businesses. You know. But I, but but I have learned that they they do that to each other. When MPP comes, they attack the N, 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 NDC businessmen. When NDC comes, they attack the MPP businessmen. So it's like, you know, yes, and, and it's all because or, or, of the original, institution. Originally, originally, that this, is not uh, one originally this mm -hmm. kind of thing. But obviously, they if we say che, if, if we say Chairman Rollins, he has been there for twenty one years. Mm -hmm. So you can see that. That is the source of that type of politics. Okay. You understand? That is the source. And this is the only time that people kind of suffered because they were rich mm -hmm. or something. And so they don't feel comfortable to, to, to even if you change from military to, um, military to uh, civilian, okay. as you can see, the 19, 1992 constitution mm -hmm. uh, creates that avenue for you to still be in a way a dictator in a way, in a way. and so that the, the, the you, constitution that is you not carry, really spell our democracy uh, in at all you carry the same if they are able to amend it and update it and change it i think that we have as you said edge to a certain degree to, to so we have a France. long way to go because that is dictatorship that right there article 78 and that 128 and that 97 right there is it's just clearly. not right yeah ah. mm. and so for so, mm -hmm. so um why don't you edge on to because so it means that kufo brought a little bit of stimulation in stimulation in the economy correct and then and you then, have the ghana at 50. and then the ghana at 50 expense, where, what, expenditure mm -hmm. starts to go a bit wild and then the cd started developing ah, so that cd that already you taken out the four zeros mm -hmm. And then now we we'll will peg it. So to the what power. made Ghanaians um what made Ghanaians voted Kufu out? Because um no, okay, he, Kufu no, he was terms. he wasn't voted out. Okay, yeah. so he did two terms, right? Okay. Yeah. So um what what apart from the hippic, mm -hmm. you know, what what substantial um monumental 
sort of um, structures. Structures. Very, very difficult yeah. to tell, but you had some. Before, you you, you probably know, have some the major Oregon, major uh, roads. Mm -hmm. There was a, a huge road building project, road so they did the construction, Kras, construction of roads. Construction of roads also okay. helped. The schools mm -hmm. of uh, the schools in Ghana mm -hmm. were also kind of yeah saw some government investments in there, so the schools were looking better. Okay. Da, 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 da. But in terms of you couldn't. You, you you couldn't match it. Obviously, he started doing the um, one of Nkrumah's project, the Job Six Hundred project, which Nkrumah had built for mm -hmm. uh, as a, like a conference center. Okay. For now, because you see, this is a very sad story. Mm -hmm. The Job Six Hundred. The moment Nkrumah left it through, and I'm going to say this: this is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. Africans, we have a big problem, mm -hmm. and what is our problem? We have a leader. When they come, they build something, they build some monument of Nkrumah or something. The moment they remove the guy from power, we, they knock everything down. These monuments are built with state. It's our history. It's our history. It's, our history. it's built with state money. You know, history. they will get on a plane to come to the UK to come and see Churchill sitting in the uh, Westminster uh, Parliament uh, Square. Uh, you know. Yeah. And when you have Nkrumah, you knock him down. And it's not just in Ghana. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you know, I think it happened Across in, Africa. in Mobutu, uh, in 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 Congo, in Zaire. It yeah. happens. In this thing has Watch to out stop. for the next series. That's right. It has so to let's stop. continue. Please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. Share and like.